to date night that little break in the in the program we just wanted to switch cameras our other one was acting a little janky so if you miss the first couple minutes um again date night this is what you get for a date when you marry chris callum from cycle source it's hey why is it going to be me this is what i get for marrying you too oh no I this is you not this is movies and not popcorn and shit. No. date night for me nice dinner fire maybe a glass of wine but instead we're working on an 88 fxr in the greasing gears garage tonight so it looks like a big pile of tell me someone else is here no <laughs> no anyway oh it's probably amelia oh the kids home um it looks like a big hunk of junk it's audio be... still low nancy says what's that audio still low Hmm. We ch we tested on our end and it sounded really great to us. Um, is that Nancy Weems? I'm yeah. guessing. Hey, Turn Nancy. your pack up. Turn my pack up. We're just fraught with te technical difficulties this evening. I can't even say technical difficulties. How's that, hey, Nancy? How about is that any better? Huh? All right. Anyway, eighty-eight FXR. We're going to turn this steaming hunk of Audio good here, stuff Walt Lumpkin. There we go. Into a beautiful, lean, mean street machine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Aunt, did you have too much coffee tonight? No, I didn't have enough. Um, but no, seriously, this is going to be a beautiful machine that we are working with our partners over at Dennis Kirk on. We've acquired a good majority of the parts for this project so far and we're going to be building it here in this shop over the course of the next several months okay so this is just me and you hanging out let's let's talk i don't know how to do that let's talk the real bullshit so damn hey kiddo. this thing is in serious I had a facebook world. oh come on everybody wants to see killer actually a subscriber called and asked about you the other day there over here where do I walk? Hope you have sunglasses on. Her hair may blind you. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Amelia, come here. I did my nails today. Oh, wait. We actually match. Anyway, say hello. This is Killer. She used to write for us. She actually still writes for the magazine, but she started out at Killer Chronicles, and now she does the artist profiles and the Dennis Kirk garage builds. Yeah, she does write those for us, too, so she's okay. We'll keep So technically, her. I guess she still writes for it. Yeah, just not her own column, but anyway. Yeah, anyway. So she's still alive. She survived college. Barely. Um, I just drove an hour to get back home. And I work at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. When? I'm sleeping. When? I'm Goodbye. sleeping. Don't whine. Go. Goodbye. Done with you. What are you guys working on? The FXR. Is this the new 50 bike? No. That's the empty roller out in the driveway. What's this going to be? This is going to be an FXR for Dennis Kirk. Nice. When yeah. is it supposed to be done by? Tomorrow. No, and Dad, 27 days from now, but no, we have some time. <laughs> All right, all of you guys. Good night, Amelia. Bubbles. Okay. So, like I was saying about the, the real shit and just me and you hanging out, um, we didn't know much about this bike other than friends of ours, a very good friend of ours turned us on to it, a very good friend of his. Had it. Who is now a very good friend of ours. They said that it would have been well, like everything stripped. That's great. But uh, we went and bought it sight unseen. Sometimes you win when you do that, sometimes you lose. Um, but I will say finding an FXR was harder yeah. than I thought. Finding an affordable FXR that you know you're just going to use as a donor was harder than I thought. So. Like I said, we don't know much about it. And we're starting from square one, trying to figure out what bolts we can get out, what shit's gonna have to be cut off or ground off. And a little while ago, I was horsing around with Heather and I turned the key and I was like, bet you this doesn't even have any power and the headlight came on. Ready? Uh... So it does have power. I'm almost afraid to. I'm almost afraid to do this, but let's try to start. 
start it. If it explodes, call 911. Turn the key on, Gracie. Super low. Mm, let me check. Ooh, hello from France. Nice. Nick Hildebrittle from the Mitten. He can hardly hear us. Uh, yeah. Mine's good. Sounds like you're in a funnel. Sounds good in Journey. Jersey. We have mixed reviews on the audio. Some say it's good. Some say it's bad. We're going to go with mediocre tonight. I wonder, let's try to switch, let's try to do this, we'll try something different for you guys. So this is the number two, hold please. I think they're getting a Sorry. Wait a minute, you don't have a mic now. Yeah, we got to be by the bike. So somebody tell us if that's better. Is that any better? And by tomorrow, I promise you guys we'll have a better solution for the audio. No, it's actually picking up the camera mic is why it's working when we're close. Well, I just switched over to that. Okay. Better, better. Keep Kronoff from Central PA. Jason Sims says, Jason, we washed that shovel head earlier today. Can you say dirty, <laughs> dirty, 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 dirty old pig motorcycle? Close to the other motorcycle. Dirty old pig motorcycle. Barry Gibson, I had an 82 FXRS shovel kick-ass bike. Got stolen in 96. Oh. Never saw it again. Oh. That blows, Barry. I'm so sorry. 96 when you could still steal a motorcycle. <laughs> right. So, I wish there was a way I could bring them in without screwing everything up, because holding the battery in place oh my God. inside is a wood shim. Like, you know when you're shimming a door? Oh, you got to be kidding me. There's a wood shim in here. Okay. Wow. So the one bolt that uh, is secured to the seat pan. I have a feeling this may be a lot of cutoff wheels and. Yeah, buddy. Other than. I'm curious, but other than the motor and the frame, are we really going to use anything? We're not going to use the seat. I want to thank Austin Andrella, our tool sponsor. <laughs> okay, what's your eyes, Lulu Bell? You should you should bring everybody in just to show them. Okay. I think we found a problem with the battery. 
so it's gonna be a little wobbly for a minute because I'm gonna move the tripod so try not to get seasick so apparently something is going on with the battery tray here instead of the battery sitting where it was it looks like it fell over this way and in genius fashion to fix that problem so that it wouldn't ground out against the frame a slight carpenter shim was added in exactly the right spot I shit you not exactly how we found it that's almost as good as when they use the, the house wire nuts for their wiring Try not to get seasick, folks. So, I'm going to put the battery charger on, and we're going to see if we can fire this up anyway. Just because I'm a glutton to, for punishment. Adrian, thank you. I love my Indian Larry sweatshirt, too. Oh, thank you for sharing, Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Like, you haven't heard that 8,000 times. Okay. Battery charger on. Charging. We'll let that cook for a while while we cut off some more parts. I'm actually, after the first couple bolts being stripped and rusty and shitty, I'm going to go around the bike and just hit everything with some blaster and oh, let it cook. That. And this is going to stink a lot, Heather. Is that like um, WD-40? Penetrating fluid. Uh, it's a little, I mean, WD-40 kind of a PB well, blaster. WD-40 smells awesome. I really don't want to get this in the coffee. No. Oh, that doesn't smell like WD-40. No, but it works. PB Blaster is the shit. Uh, Nick wants to know what kind of battery charger jump box you're using. It's just some shitty little shoemaker. It's just something I picked up at AutoZone or something for quick bench charge. And let's see, Brad says, dude, all you had to do was pull the plastic piece off the center of the hinge to get that seat off. But Brad, that wouldn't have been as cool as the cutting wheel. Really? I don't know because I never used a seat like this and that was one of the first things I was going to rip off and throw away. And the seat unfortunately wasn't salvageable anyway. Um, when we can salvage parts, we always do because you never know who might need what you have. And to be quite honest with you, after the after the bolt that's on the inside of the seat pan snapped free, I lost my shit and just cut it off because it made me angry. But look, he was right. Let me see. Oh, well, he learned something new. Wow, that stuff smells bad. Ta-da. But unfortunately for that, like we are going to make our own cool seat. So I'm going to cut this part off anyway, but thank you. What can I do? Oh, all this mess. Just all this mess? Somebody wanted the windshield. I think Milwaukee Mike wants the windshield. Okay. So try to not destroy it coming apart. Sometimes, sometimes I forget I'm a, I'm a chopper guy and like my, uh, my approach to some of this might seem really rude because I don't care almost at all about a lot of the stock stuff that came with the bike. 
and I should because this is actually, as far as FXR goes, this motorcycle is kind of an example of FXR royalty. Why is that? Just because it I was the. Don't know, so. No, it was I think like the end or right at the end of the first incarnation of the Evo FXRs, and you know, really ushered in a new era for this style of motorcycle. You know, it's not that any of the parts that are on this one are that very desirable, but I should probably treat it with a little more respect. What's that saying? One man's trash is another man's treasure. That's right. And I wanted a shitty old rusty FXR until I knew a man that had one. And now you have one? <laughs> So I think maybe part of date night is I'm just going to pull up a chair and watch you work and filter comments. Well, you can take the windshield part. Go ahead. Do something. Help out. Mm. Uh-huh. Don't fun in games till you got to put a wrench in your hand. No, I just don't. Plastic. Remember every show he asks everybody for their favorite lift. I love handy lift, I do. Every time one of my buddies has one of those other company lifts. I always try to talk them out of it. Nope, that's the best part. <laughs> wow. After watching that, uh, the knucklehead that got auctioned off the other night. Raffled off. Raffled off. I'm sorry, roadside flipping Marty wins a knucklehead. Like... <laughs> One out of 300 chance he wins a knucklehead. I could have, I could buy 299 tickets <laughs> out of 300 and still not win. No, but we're super happy for you. I know, that's so awesome. Roadside's had a pretty hard year this year. Yeah, he was he has. He something good. He was due for a good one. I don't know if he deserved nothing had good, but you know I'm not actually sure. Eighty eight or eighty nine. We didn't actually we didn't verify it by the VIN, so I have the title of the truck. Uh oh. oh Mic down. Mic down. How's the audio now? <laughs> Some professionals we are. Hey, didn't we tell you guys when we started doing this day in the life stuff that this was honestly going to be just shit that we do, unfiltered, the way that we do it? Oh. Did you break it? Did Seriously, Heather, right to that? Have you met yourself? You're like a bull in a tent. 
Every time you say that, have you met yourself line? I think about, uh, what's the rock and roll musical? Which one? Have any of those people met me? Oh, have Rock of Ages. Is that met no. themselves? Yeah, Rock, rock of Ages. Ages. I love that movie. It's the soundtrack of my youth. So literally at this point, we're just going to unbolt as much shit as we can, get it all over on the parts table. So bad. Oh, it's close. Oh? Yeah. I was guessing. Close, but no cigar. tell you guys that uh one of the next bikes we're building we're gonna start on is the 25th anniversary bike for cycle source next what size is it next april is our 25th anniversary can you believe you've been doing this that long what are you doing up here can I help you out? Did you get the front out? No. The bottom? Yeah. Hold on. Okay, Milwaukee Mike. Your windshield, sir. Here. And it's a an international cycle. Street Shield EX. Mm -hmm. Dun 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 dun. Okay. I get to cut stuff. I like to cut stuff. I like to cut stuff. Look at this. Isn't that sexy as hell? Oh, I love when I find shit like this. What, is that wire enough? Ah, oh, wow, dude. Okay, leave that there because we still want to try to start the bike. What can I do? I fo remember, I follow instructions. Turn signals? Oh, yeah. Check your little uh, comment feed there. What are your top five tools you think you use the most? 9 16 wrench, um, gear driven wrench. Yeah, in this in this portion, um, I have a paddle driver, which is a three quarter inch air ratchet that works off of the paddle that I normally do all this stuff with, but I didn't want to have an air tool running the whole time you guys were here, but. Larry used to use one of those, and uh, I tried it out one day, and I was like, man, when I was disassembling a bike, it was, I was zipping all over the place with it, and I really dug it. Um, top five tools. The handy lift, the scissor jack, crescent wrench. <laughs> Miller 
TIG welder. And I like to weld everything. Get a step ladder header, <laughs> Nancy Wings. <laughs> I know, I was vertically challenged. Some weird shit. How's our battery looking? Where'd you put the clamps for the light? I just set mine down here. Okay. There if you want to put them back together. Well, the other once ones. Once we get here. Okay. Um. Like I said, I don't really want to unhook everything until we're sure we're not going to try to start it anymore. Well, how's the battery look? Shitty. Like a battery with a wood shim that's trying to keep <laughs> it from shorting out against the frame. Jamie, now see, I don't know, did you tell people how far we drove for this? I didn't. So we drove down to about 30 miles south of Memphis for this bike. And it was a great road trip. And like Killer. more importantly, the guy that we met, that we bought bought it from, like... Jane Payne. Jane ja Payne. Jamie Payne. Like, I'm so glad our friend Doug introduced us to him. Around the world, Doug. Doug Wolski. Wolski, Wolski. Doug, tell me how to say it next time. Um, it's supposed to be homeless Doug, Doug. Homeless Doug. Homeless Doug, according to Jamie. Um, introduced us to Jamie, and I'm so, so glad he did, because he ended up being just such a cool guy. Dude, everything on this bike, I swear to God. Every fastener that could possibly be stripped is stripped. Oh, these are coming out. I'm going to have to get my nails done again tomorrow. Yeah. Did you really just say that in the garage? Yep, I did. Oh my gosh. What are you doing with all my Allen keys? Keeping them over there? This bolt is like eight miles long. No, that bolt is turning in the back. Oh. <laughs> the I same thing I was just swearing about. Look out. Go ahead. The That's... other one just came right out. Yeah, yeah. It did. Million and one shot, Doc. In a minute here, I'm not going to give a rat's ass about trying to start this bike, and we're just going to take it apart. Aww. you got to try it one more time. Just one more. I think it's still spinning. Let's see. Because I'm not making progress. There you go. That's it. Now you... Are you going to do the side covers like you did on... War, War Pony. For one piece? Handmade, yeah. formed out of steel. So that's the thing. If you guys, if you guys are familiar with our War Pony bike, it was based on an FXR chassis from Paco. Do you have a size down from that? Um, 
from uh, we had done some handmade side covers that we formed the steel out of we're going to do that same kind of thing here so if you want a lesson in hand forming basics i'm actually super excited because since since the first time i did that mm -hmm. son of a bitch every bolt since the first time i did that had a few lessons from Aaron Green that I think are going to pay off big. Somewhere Aaron's probably like, dear God, don't tell them I showed you. <laughs> don't blame that on me. Oh, you can worry. I do. Yeah, that's the biggest thing that we say all the time, man. I mean, you know, this whole thing is going down under a category called garage build. The most important part is just being in the garage and doing stuff. You know, some people have better skills when it comes to welding or metal forming. Some people are just learning, but anybody can be out in the garage. You know, hell, look at Heather. <laughs> Yeah, like, I certainly don't know what I'm doing, but... Oh, you come a long way, though. Yeah, I mean, I and don't... look, you know, I mean, all joking aside about this being date night, you know, this is this is how we're spending our Friday night together. Is, is it really Friday? Friday? No, no, it's, it's Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> wow, I get a do-over. We get to do date night again, baby. Yay. <laughs> So these foot peg, oh, these foot peg clips on the bottom, the passenger pegs. Uh huh. I definitely want to keep them. Oh. I can remember those being a pain in the ass the last time. Just the saddle, you know, or the clev. Do you call it the clevis? Clevis. Very good, clevis. But the little, little toaster panel. Uh huh. Somebody carved in here 6363. Oh. Look right now, somebody's like, that's my bike, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness. See this? What's up? This is not good wiring practice. Mm. No, you usually like shrink wrap and solder and all kind of shit like that, yeah. Like I want it to stay. Okay, I can't take it anymore. Let's try one more time to start it. Oh, hang on. You know what? Let's add a little Ooh. drama. What? Let's see. Hi from Croatia. Nice. Um, music rights. I don't know. Music rights. Nancy, we lowered the lift already. If we lower any more, then Chris has to bend over and well. Watch it. Don't even go there. Hey, this is one thing I'm keeping off of here. What's that? This air cleaner cover is perfect. There's a perfect part? Yes. Look at this. Let's see. Keith Cronoff. Do you 100 know? 100% intact. Ooh. SMS teardrop. That's Score. going right up on the shelf, baby. Do you know the date when the cannibal is stopping over in Myrtle Beach? My son is moving there next week. Can't understand why he wants to leave PA. I love it here. I don't. Keith, I don't know if they have the whole tour dates released yet, but um, they, all of those stops will be made available in advance, so just keep checking the Cannonball, Cannonball, Motorcycle Cannonball website, um, and I can totally understand why he's moving to Myrtle Beach. It's the beach. Okay, I have some 
Marsha Fitzpatrick. What Start do you want us to show you? Oh, if it starts? We're gonna find out in just a minute. <clears throat> hold your horses, hold your horses. You sure everybody got my cabinets done? We showed them earlier. He's very proud of his cabinets. Damn right. Because, you know, a man and his cabinets, it's a big deal. I don't know. All I know is that I wish you paid half as much attention to the house as you do your shop. I'm in the shop more than I'm in the house. You lie. Did you look in this cabinet over here? Yeah. Oh, some of a biscuit. Good evening from Tennessee. It's a lot of fun tearing down, and he loved your cabinets. Look, honey, another man loved your cabinets. Okay, let's get this. Let's get this shot. Ready? Ready? Yep. That doesn't sound good. me over with a pencil holy crap and in typical evo fashion it's been sitting and i should have thought about that oh what it runs it is alive Ready? can i say it can i say it it runs son <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you want some kitty lurks? Oh, oh. No, I'm just going to grab it with this cloth. Oh, I'm really sorry. How about my tool? That's what we should be sorry about, dude. Awesome though it started and it sounds strong man. right that's great that means other than uh i think jamie told us the base gaskets are leaking you know well, obviously well we're gonna go through the whole motor anyway, right? clean it up yeah because it's kind of old and nasty It will get some TLC. Oh, damn it. That makes me feel so good, though, that it like, has, has a strong sound and motor. Right? That's half the battle. When you're when you're doing a rehab like this, and you start out with a donor bag. Do you know how I learned the difference... What? In motor sounds. Do you remember my story? 
No. Especially a shovel head. So when I worked for the Broken Soak, Jay Allen would do... It wasn't necessarily a loud pipes contest, but, you know. It was was exhaust porn. Yeah, it was exhaust porn. And he would always put the mic up to the exhaust, and he would have one or two of the bartenders get up and shake their ass to the rhythm of the motor. And that's how I learned the different shovel head pan, like how the different sounds. So you two identify a good running shovel head by a girl shaking her ass. <laughs> That's exactly how I do it. <laughs> Not exactly what I meant. I should have known better. Um, how do you handle the oily towels and wet up in the shop to avoid spontaneous combustion? Nick, he throws them in our fire pit out back and combusts them himself. Yeah. We live in Pennsylvania, man. Like, you know, in the in the suburbs or country, it gets country as F real quick outside of Pittsburgh. And we can still have fire pits here. And, and I usually throw all this shit in the fire pit and then put about a half a gallon of gasoline on it. And that takes care of the spontaneous yeah. combustion. Well... As he almost spontaneously combusts our pergola and <laughs> like. But the responsible answer to that would be behind the motorcycle over here where you can't see, I have a steel fireproof can that you step on, the lid goes up, I throw my oily rags in, and the lid goes down. You've already secured your place in hell, Christopher. <laughs> I can't believe it started. That's awesome. Now let's cut it. This is coming off. It's not coming off. Okay. Key off. Unplug the charger. What if it's actually a good battery? It could be a fairly new battery. I mean, you know what the worst part is? Is we drove 13 hours to get this motorcycle and never started it. We were so excited about the collection of motorcycles that Jamie had. Well, not just that. We were super excited to get an FXR. You know, because like you said, it's not easy to run by FXRs anymore. All the kids are scooping them up. What? I don't know. I'm just shocked at Ram. Can I cut wires and stuff now? Although, do you need, do you need some of them? Like, we're probably going to have to, we have to put gauges on it. Yeah, battery terminal's broken, so. No good battery. We're going to do gauges, but I want to do, uh, I want to do, um, auto meter gauges again, like on, one more pony. Those cool ass. Is this one going to be able to turn? Yes. Okay. Well, you know, it's important to remember about war pony is it's a salt, salt flat racer, so uh-huh. it's not supposed to turn. Uh huh. What does that face for? Where's the microphone? Down here. <laughs> Jesus. Come on, somebody run this shit like it's real production. It's not real production. I don't know. That looks good. Okay. Excuse me. I'm almost going to feel bad, like, I feel I like we, we should, should keep, keep it. I'm going to put, I'm going to write on it. I'm going to get a Sharpie. What am I doing with this? With this trash? Yeah. Why did you give it to me then? <laughs> Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to write on it. Well, this is an AGM battery and everything. I bet you. It's going to transfer. We might try to keep this battery. It's 
going to transfer the what? I, th I think we're going to give this to Bob. How about there's nothing wrong with the battery tray? Did they just want to use a smaller battery? Did you take a picture of that first? No. Oh. Why? Because I want to take a picture and put this with it and give it to Bob. <laughs> um, battery. Wow. Holder. Look at this. Oh, I took that thing oh. off. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> no, it's over here. I already took it apart. All right, so. 1988 FXR battery holder. Okay. Or battery keeper. A lot of this is unpluggable. Shouldn't just willfully destroy. turn signals. We'll catch that one. Is this like pretend West Coast choppers or something? <laughs> What's that? Somebody asked, is this like pretend West Coast choppers or something? How did I even get here? No, this is not pretend West Coast choppers. This is a, a place where we actually hang out and do shit with bikes and I don't think he meant to be disrespectful. It was kind of funny though. Okay. It looks like my hair in the morning. Same question. How did you get here? Yeah. <sighs> and the truth is, I was bouncing at the titty bar. Now, how come you said said it much more politely earlier today? I don't know, honey. I'm just curious. You were saying you were bouncing at the gentleman's club. And one of my buddies was like, you would be cool if we started our own magazine. Do you still talk to him? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. I don't talk to anybody from the strip club hardly anymore either, except for Mark. Choppers. Does Jesse just still do West Coast Choppers? Uh -huh. I thought he had changed up, had changed his oh. focus. He's forever I mean, going to be Jesse James. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Telling the story the other day about Will and Jesse. See what old pretend West Coast child percentage is doing now. Be nice. He said, used to be bikers hated surveillance. Now they put themselves under it on their own accord. Uh, 
Mr. Nunn, I have clamshell bags, convertible bags, and two fairings for that bike. Not for this bike. <laughs> Thank no, you. Thank we, you. We actually have a pool fairing from Adolfo. Yes. Over at LA Fairing. Yeah, I can show you guys that. Let's get let's pull that out. I'm not even sure where it is. I am. So here's one of our secret part stash for this build. We can show it with you guys already. This is from Adolfo at LA Fairing. Oh, the same shirt. Nice. We don't need them like that yet. So this will be the fairing we're using on this bike. He does super, super nice shit. Of course, we won't have that headlight. Is it fiberglass? Is that what that's made yeah. out of? Okay, let's hurry up and take the headlight off. Okay. Because that headlight's going to keep it from being in the right spot. I'm guessing. Ooh. 916. Nice. And by the way, I'm not. I know you don't like that word. No, I don't. <clears throat> it used to mean something that's completely different. It was a position of honor and respect. And it's it's interesting because I notice I know a lot of your counterparts don't care for it either. Cut that. Where'd you put the snips? Right here. Here? Yep. Okay, so bring everybody over to show them the fairing. Okay, it's going to be a bumpy ride. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> so, this will obviously, we're going to switch this over to a... Uh, a Hayabusa front end. We have a nice inverted Hayabusa front end. We're going to get rid of all of this shit. It'll have clip-on handlebars. And we're going to match that with this bitch and fairing from LA Fairing Company. And it'll have a nice tight little headlight. All that badness like that. But like I said, we got to get rid of all of this junk first, so... Handlebars. Oh, Martha, thank you. She said she loves watching us both. Handlebars. Sorry. Um, you want to take the clutch apart? No. Yeah. I can't. Break that down. Loosen it up. Okay, help me out a little more than break that down. Loosen it up. Okay. Wrenches. Mm -hmm. Break this nut loose. Screw the adjuster the whole way back in. There we go. So you get enough slack. There might be enough slack. I mean, it's not like we're trying to save this thing, so. How about I just cut it? I don't even know if you're going to be able to get that bolt to turn. That's why I said that.
We can try to save this break line. I'm gonna go see if I can find my stuff stool. Okay, this isn't actually doing anything, is it? Shit, that is. Okay. One other comment you got. I haven't been talking since you were gone. Oh. Walt Lumpkin is funny. Um, what? Hello, Jeff Ayers. Chris loves his toy. Hey from Tombstone. Right Coffee on. Rates on music. Eh. Who said that? Uh, Nancy Wayne said. Not sure why. Uh, Nick wants to know if you're doing anything with the controls. You know, I'm actually going to clean these ones up and trade them in for a stock black set. So what my plan will be is to take the uh, the GSXR clip-ons and I'll actually do a slip tube to convert them over to the one-inch bars and put stock Harley controls back on them. Can I handle this? Yeah, just be careful. I will. Well, it's not even whether I'll catch you or not. My back will go out. Your mother will kill us both. Oh, son of a biscuity and monkey. You sure did. And I'm still letting these oil lines drain. You've got to get that oil line off before you take the... Bastard. It's not done draining yet. <clears throat> As people can probably tell, we're not an OSHA an OSHA compliant shop. <laughs> Wait, can I stand on that? That's actually a good set of brake lines. So we need to drain the oil, drain the gas. Oh, I want to keep that headlight on.
35 different sets of Allen wrenches here. And they're all missing the one size I'm looking for. Probably the one you have. No, it's small. I have a bigger one. Did you already take a second screw job? Yeah. Oh, all right. That's what took the... Are you going to hit me in the head with that, or are you going to pull the handlebars off? No. Only, well, no, I'm going to do it, but I want to get down first, because if I pull them off, I'll fall over. Oh, yeah. I was about to do it, and I'm like, um... This is always the best part because at this stage of building a bike, you're still excited and dreaming about what it's going to be and how cool it is. And none of the drama. Yeah. You know, oddly enough, what I like doing, I like when you have me like grinding the frame, cleaning it up and stuff like that. You are such a weird little girl. Why? Because that's usually, people call that the grunt work. Yeah, but you know why I like it. Why? Because it's just like using the sandblaster. It's instant gratification. You can see progress immediately. Ooh. Are we going to hook that up tomorrow? The sand? What? Yeah. You can tell everybody about that. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So Chris got home today and a delivery had been made uh, uh, from um, Vapor Honing Technologies. We got a VH800 delivered to our shop today. Which if what you, is a VH800, Heather? It is, I believe it is the Weekend Warrior vapor honing machine, which is one of the coolest things ever. On the planet. On the planet. And we have one now, um, and we're so grateful. Well, we're going to uh, get it set up tomorrow and hopefully clean up some parts. Yeah. Unfortunately, it'd be amazing if it was big enough to fit a frame in, because that would make me really, really <laughs> happy. But this one is not. Um, but it will be enough to do a lot of our small parts that so we do. A lot of people were talking about vapor honing, vapor blasting stuff now. And uh, one of the benefits in motorcycles, see, like, why? Let me why? See. Just why? What is... Oh. We haven't found any wire nuts yet, though. Um, one of the benefits in motorcycling is that when you're trying to get stuff back to, to factory finish, especially when it comes to the antique motorcycles, a vapor blaster is... Almost like cheating. Can I take these um, foot controls apart and stuff? Mm -hmm. And the pegs and stuff? What not? Yep. <coughs> but it's real nice. It, it takes all the junk away without removing parent material. And, you know, with the different medias that are available, you can actually achieve different finishes. And we're going to be doing a lot of testing this summer with that to see what all we can get done. I have a silly question. What? Um. Good coil. Good coil. What? To over here? Can you just look between Yeah, them? just get rid of the brake. Okay. I wasn't sure. 
I didn't want to take something apart that I shouldn't. No, it's all coming apart because these forward controls uh -huh. are going bye byes in favor of mid sets. Oh, okay. No, you really do know how to make a mess. And there's a good coil. Do you have a wrench out for the break yet? No. Okay, so I think I have finally reached the gas tank and I can drain the gas main. screwdriver. I'm going to tell you to push that rubber hose for me. Push it off? Uh-huh. Go ahead. So remember earlier I was telling you guys where I disposed my rags in the fire pit with the half gallon of gasoline. This is the half gallon of gasoline. <laughs> place so we'll probably try to get another head with broken fins and just cut a piece of the fin material and see if a welder can fake that stuff in for us. Oh, okay. A good aluminum welder. I can give it a shot but I'm not quite there yet. start loosening this tank, Heather, if you felt like it. Is that a wrench or a ratchet? Huh? Give me the wrench, you get a ratchet.
Mm -hmm. I love taking apart shit that you know guys like over the years have had apart and put back together. So like these two bolts in the back, one is six inches long, one is a half an inch long. <laughs> Are you holding the No, not yet. I didn't know you were. Oh, sorry. A little bit of communication there, little bell. I can't budge it. Come on, put some stink on it. <laughs> I can't budge it. Okay. Here, you put the wrench over there and wedge it into something. Well, and there's a reason why you can't budge it. Is it? Go get an extension. Why? No, I was... Because you want to get it out where you can get a hold of it. Go get an extension. Like a big bit? Medium. Big. Like this, like this big? No, well, one that's... Oh. Okay, that's the other thing. Give me a three three quarter inch back here. Did I give you the right side? No. You ready? Yep. Put it somewhere where you're not holding it with your finger. Well. Let it go against the motor or something. Okay? Christ, there's still gas in it. Oh, yeah. Anything? Oh, we gotta check this more often. Let's see. 
over here where people can hear you. Do you remember in 2008 stopping by Zero Engineering on Las Vegas? Buddy yeah. took you to Cobra Custom Motors for points cover. Yep. That's from Buddy Eric. Uh, Jeff Ayers, we're in just outside of Pittsburgh. Um, da, da, da. Nancy says you can fix the fins. Yeah. It would just be nicer if we didn't have to. Yeah, I know. But we may finally be up. No. tonight. Hanny, we are taking apart a 1988 FXR that's been up, rusted up, mudded up, junked up, and hopefully we're going to make something cool out of it. Don Thompson is watching from the UK. Very cool. What? It's just dirty and muddy and mucky. And... Somebody rode the hell out of it for a good long time, though, that's for sure. Oh, and you know what? Like, all joking aside, the cosmetic shit on the top of this still doesn't take away from the, what are you the, for the him? bones of a great bike. I mean, this is, by the time we get done with this, dressing this old girl back up. Damn, I didn't think those were ever going to come off. What's that? Those bolts. I was trying and trying and trying. Oh. What? Jelly. See, this is where you had to teach me. Like, this is where there's a bolt on the back. And cause I don't know. You know, I can get that one. Awesome. Excuse me. I know, I think. Give me 916. Got it. I don't know, kid. I think you've taken it. Enough date night at Cycle Source HQ. What do you think? Why? Huh? Everybody tired of us, or? No. I know you guys tired of us. Are you done watching us take apart this FXR for tonight? I mean, oh, careful microphone. Oh. Sorry. Hold on. Ready? That's right. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Whack away. I just want to see if it was loose in the front, but it goes through these shock mounts too. Oh, but we can take the shock mounts out. Can we? Yeah. Oh, suspended. <laughs> oh my gosh. Sleepy little bit. It's midnight. No. We didn't get started until 11. That's why I said I think date night is just about to Do this one. Oh, microphone's still on it. And it's on the shock mount. What? It should be it though, right?
actually mounted. It is. Move one more bolt up here. Hmm. Learn something new every day. Okay, let's. Let's bust the rear wheel off. Do I take the shock off the bottom here or just leave it? You can get the next size up. Next size Sock up. It with a wrench. Did I bash it with a wrench? Back it. Or five what size is that? Three quarter. Huh? Three quarter. Is it really? Hmm. That's not. Is it spinning? No.
and it going pretty good. Like there's something on this side. No. Oh my back, dude. Can I tap it out from this side? It's Show just that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what about this break over here? Just let it. Well, the break can. The break will stay. Let's get this. Where's the crescent wrench? Which size? Three quarter? No, the crescent wrench. Oh. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I don't have it. Oh, here it is. Check in. Where's the rest of the damn sockets? Don Thompson, we're going to do an FX. Um, how would you describe the style like you're doing, honey? Oh, performance. Performance, yeah, it's gonna be performance based. It, yes, it will be very similar to War Pony, actually. Mm. But it won't be. It won't be straight line performance like War Pony. It'll be more. More like street performance, I guess. Yeah, War Pony is built to go very fast and very straight. And that's about it. What can I do, honey? Give me a task. Give me something to do. Oh, there's so many things you could do. Tell baby. me, tell me, tell me. I'll take this off. No. rubber that's rubber that's got to be a quarter <laughs> inch thick at least look under, under here too look at and there's got to be what a good half inch groove in the belt oh yeah <laughs> somebody, look at this 
somebody had this thing off road and oh yeah look up under here that's like mud and grass that's got to be at least a quarter to good a half. times good times right there baby good times i hear a lot of hey y'all watch, watch this, this. <laughs> hold my beer bullshit you think i won't microphone flying. Nobody calls me a chicken. That was a whole lot of hey y'all. Huh? That was definitely a whole lot of hey y'all watch this. Sorry. The microphone's right on the other side of <laughs> that. Loose, that's loose. Think we're good. All right, goddamn it. God damn it, Bobby. God damn it, Bobby. Who on earth is calling the office at midnight on a Friday? Whoever you are, I'm not answering the phone. And it's not Friday. We determined that already, didn't we? Yeah. Did you really put the 916th away? No. Oh, where is it? Okay. Is that it? Probably. Was it? Should I look right at it? Damn you! Damn you, Christopher! Fine, I got my own. Turn signals. They're turn signals. Contrary to what you may think, a lot of people do use turn signals. Other than their hands. You said you were keeping these, right? Well, For I mean, now. Might as well keep them. They go with the collection, but... They're not going back on this bike. I'm keeping the clevises. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha. Keep them something. Okay. You son of a bitch. That's why. What?
sneaky bolts from the inside. Belt's obviously dunk. I could cut it just so it's out of the way, right? Oh, yeah, based on the amazing condition. Hold on to that for me. The belt? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Safe to say we're doing our own harness, right? Right? Take the pipes off. No, I just I can't break this one free. Start breaking the cover and stuff from that pipe. Yeah, that's right. A lot out. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, the motor puller. Yeah, Nancy, we will use the Banks lift on this for sure. Um, rip and strip. What's the time frame for building this puppy? Um, we have a few months to do this, I believe. Um, so you're going to be seeing a lot of us on this project. And the cool thing about this project is we're going to completely transform this bike, but it's going to be very little fabrication. fabrication. So pretty much it will be a project that almost anybody can do. A little mechanical ability. And yeah. some things like we are changing we're changing the swing arm and the suspension and the forks but it's all stuff that you can get and do yourself um, even the the front end like Chris mentioned earlier we're gonna use a Hayabusa front end that's one of the only parts that requires a little bit of special know-how. Like, you have to go to a machine shop and have a special neck stem. Right. But doesn't, and correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't Chaos Cycles make a kit? He, he I actually think he sells a whole... He sells the whole... Um, triple tree kit. The whole really. triple tree yeah. kit to, you, to do that with. So, even those parts, if you don't have a machinist to retrofit that front end... You can do that. But it's not, either way you go, it's not, it's not like, you know, readdressing a frame or anything. Right. Yeah, like you said, little, very little fabrication. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Need to knock these bolts for the pipe off. Can I put the out one? Half inch. Which one? Have a half inch out. Half inch wrench or socket? Wrench. Uh, I think I put it away. I've been kind of trying to put stuff away that I've taken out.
wasn't holding my tongue right. <laughs> that makes a difference. Yeah, sometimes you gotta get over the left side. Ah, uh, gotcha. Anybody watching have any cool projects that they're working on right now? be going back and forth between two projects yeah at least two for a little while yeah that's fun the next thing with the twisted tea bike is a trip out to Jeff Cochran's yeah I'm looking forward to that um he's I like Jeff an awful lot and I'm dying to meet his wife UFXR guys take exhaust mounting to an unhealthy level. I definitely think, honestly, you're so used to just chopper. having a chopper. <laughs> like, less is more. Well, and you know, I was talking to some young guys in Daytona, and it was funny because they were like, said something about, geez, there's no front brake god be cool you know have no front brake to have a chopper and i went it wasn't about being cool if you didn't run a front brake that was a whole like 300 dollars you can save on not putting a brake on the front of the bike dumbass <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not laughing you should see your face right now <laughs> coach knows i'm your face <laughs> seriously yes i'm dirty this is what happens when you work on shitty old motorcycles <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty. Here, you work on those ones. I don't know if I'm Im impressed or perplexed by your lack of power tool usage tonight. Well, I said I didn't want to. I didn't want to run tools the whole time while people were trying to listen to you jibber-jab. <gasps> Christopher. Well, come on. Jibber-jab, really? Although I know to you most of what I say actually sounds like Charlie Brown's teacher. No, it's not that, but I want you to invest a little bit in the serenity of the garage space. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mm. 
we already said, so there's no wide glide front end. Nope. Um, high and booster front end. I think I just like saying Hayabusa. Wow. You shut the heat off, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Mm hmm That definitely means our date night's almost over. That's one of our rules for shop time for Heather, is the heat has to be on. Got a lot of rules, dude. What? That it's not too below? <laughs> it's cold in Pennsylvania tonight. It is. Although it's better than Massachusetts. My sister, five to eight inches of snow tomorrow, they're supposed to get. I'm sorry. No. I love how you say you're you're sorry and then you laugh your ass off. Um, a small one. A what? So this is one thing that I do in the shop Very a, well. a lot of times for Chris because he'll get going and sometimes he's working on a couple bikes at a time or whatever and I'm not as helpful as I wish I was as far as some of this so I'll come out and periodically Let's just say Heather likes to hold the light where she can see shit. That's not true. And you know that's not true. Take that back, Christopher. Take it back. You didn't even know what that meant before. Oh, yes, I did. Hmm. Yep. Oh, that's funny, huh? No, you got punished for lying. Yeah. That was punishment for lying. Mm-hmm. Justice has been served. That's all I will say. And I didn't even have to do it. God, you're such a pain in the ass. <laughs> anyway, I come out and I'll help him pick, like, periodically I'll do a tool roundup and I'll wipe them down and put them roughly where they belong. Like my little pit crew. Little pit crew. And like, I probably could know more about this stuff if I wasn't. Oh, that's blood. If I wasn't such a squirrel. dispensers like over well like that one as a matter of fact okay hold the oil pan for me in the back of the bike where specifically and then I gotta get a screwdriver hold it up here up here up here an adult to have ADD like yeah. but would not like but if they didn't have it as a kid 
Like, is it possible just for because, an adult to develop ADD? Just because you weren't diagnosed with it as a kid. No, as a kid, like, I could pay attention and things held my interest. Now so I'm like, So says you. Ooh. How about what your mother would say? Now I'm like, ooh, this is me. Ooh, butterfly. Ooh. Puppy. Ooh, baby goat. Hey, let's go back to the serenity of the workspace of the shop. I hate this square backbone bullshit. I almost would like to cut no. that. No. Just listen. No. No. It's not this, that hard. We put no. it in the jig. Cut that whole part out. No, this is no frame modification. No, that's not the deal on this one. Which, I mean... That, mm -mm, it's going to be amazing. The plan that we have is awesome. And you're not cutting the frame. Just say no. Can I please wipe your face? It's gross. No. You always have to play somebody's mother. I think I made it worse. I am somebody's mother. I'm to somebody's mother. I'm a grandmother. You're a grandpa. You're a pap. Oh, dumbass. I can't believe it. Last thing in the night, I cut my finger. How bad is it bleeding? Bad. So we need a new set of head bolts, um, top end gasket kit. I should be writing this on that whiteboard over there. I Where imagine I? at the very least clutch, um, primary chain. Where's your marker for your whiteboard? I don't know. Don't worry about it tonight. Are you sure? Yeah. Should I have some on my desk? We're going to need, uh, I want to get with zippers and get the chain drive conversion. Um, what about an oil tank? Am I allowed to make my own oil tank? No. You're not going to see it anyway, really. You can see it, and it's dumb. Little to no fabrication. That was our... Okay. That's good enough for now. Okay. So I don't feel like doing it tonight, but tomorrow we'll get the oil tank out of the way, get knock the swing arm off. Um, Let's see. Knock the front end off. Probably get the transmission. Are you gonna motor. do a plugger? No. You yeah, said take your flannel off if you're hot. Don't turn the heat off. I turned the heat off so it wasn't loud in here. Mm -hmm. Nick Hildebrittle wants to know what kind of furnace you use. Is it infrared, natural gas, heater, propane furnace? We have a furnace in the Natural garage. gas. Natural, not, yeah. natural gas, forced hot air. Um, Barry says change the ash to a dash to an 80s ash. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to get rid of the um the single um fuel filler neck and I'm going to put dual fuel filler necks but a single tank so it'll be I want to cut that shit out of there and just put a panel over it. Oh, oh, okay. Um then we'll put our own filler necks in. I'm allowed to do that, right? No. Yes, a little no, bit we'll of fabrication. Talk about it. Come on. Um, cause I it's wanna... supposed to be so the average Well, well the average over... person can get the kid down the street that can run a welder and put some cool we'll tanks on the bike. Anyway. This actually isn't that bad. It needs a, a desperately it needs a good cleaning. Yeah. Get these fins fixed up. Like it just we're gonna take a lot of the bulk away, right? Like, it's just not going to look so clean. Right? What do you mean? 
Uh, well, right now it doesn't look funky, but. Yeah, I mean. It just had too much. And we want to get it, you know, like everybody's doing Tall Shock FXRs now. Like I would rather. You don't like tall socks. No, I would rather a dress like that, almost sleeper kind of profile. Yeah. You know, with that, with the high Busa front end, like it's gonna kind of squat when, down. Yeah. We'll get that nice low clip on handlebars, Ooh. mid sets. You know, with that little fairing and stuff, it'll be a nice tight it's just little. Gonna, it's gonna look fast and stand on still, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm done with you. <coughs> okay. Let's say goodnight to everybody. Lula Bell. Here, there's the microphone. <laughs> we're a hot mess. Oh. Hey, listen, this is a new thing that we're doing, though, honestly, in spite of the one or two wise asses out there. Um, this is an inside look of Cycle Source Magazine and Source Media. This is what we do. This is the garage outside of our house and um, pretty much motorcycles 24-7 here. Yeah, there's no... Um team of people that come in and God. do all this stuff. I wish, if you're out there... Team of people. Shoemakers people, elves. Shoemakers elves. If you'll work you for be. pot and cornflakes. No, we don't have the pot. We can. Well, I'll feed you. <laughs> no pot. We don't do that here. But I'll feed you very well. Chris will supply you with enough coffee. Yes. Oh, there's hot coffee inside right there's now. There's hot coffee inside, but you can't have any. So anyway, like I was saying, this is this is a new thing that we're doing. It's uh, day in a life, and um, Just kind of we've had a pretty full day today, so we're going to sign off and see you tomorrow. We'll come back in for another episode of this old FXR. Another date night at CycleSource HQ. You're awesome. As much as a pain in the ass as you are. You're kind of Who's awesome. the pain in the ass? You. If anybody out there makes business cards, I need new ones that say Chris's rainbow. Shut chaser. up. That is Nobody believes that shit anymore. Everybody <laughs> believes that. <laughs> All right, Lula Bell. Tell everybody good night. Sign good off night, for us. All right, we'll see you when we see you. Bye.